You mentioned your dad died when you were very young, yeah. and he was on a couple really beloved British series. Yeah. And I think your dad's shows were popular enough to be in reruns for a long time. Oh, they're on, he's on television more than I am, for sure. So in the most formative years, yeah. age five to age 13 or whatever, yeah. you would see your dad on TV all the time. All the time, and actually would obsessively watch him too. I mean, I think when somebody dies anyway, it's just obviously a huge shocker, but the fact that he'd not been sick and he, there was no warning and he just yeah. suddenly dropped dead. The only thing you, I had was his shows and he's so, you know, incredibly natural and and and, and uh, sort of engaging in them. I, I think I did sort of watch them like crazy. For the I wonder what you week. were looking for. I think just not wanting, you know, it's like those things after someone dies, those awful things where, you know, you've kept their shirt and it smells of them until a certain point. I suppose there was a part of that, of staving off that you know, not, not having him fade. I think the other thing that was tough was obviously he died incredibly suddenly and shockingly and incredibly young. He was 31, he had a massive heart attack one day and died. And oh. um, I think that was really, it was a weird one because he died in 1979. I think John Lennon, was he 1980? I think it was 80. But I remember both of those occasions where people were literally standing in the street reading papers and sobbing but I've blurred them together because they were so similar. That's how famous he was in England. He had that kind of mass appeal where women loved him, men wanted to be his friend, mothers wanted to mother him, fathers wanted to take him for a pint of beer. Like, he was universally sort of beloved. You know, it was instantly not just our tragedy, it was not just our story. You know, I remember us the day, you know, the morning after he died, I, us all being in the house and the news being on and sort of our tragedy being sort of on television, that's very weird. I mean, it yeah. was normal to me, but objectively, I think that's quite weird. I think you said something like, I started expecting bad things to happen to me. I think it's a little bit early. I think you're supposed to start off with like a hamster dying, you know, just sort of start a wrapping, goldfish. yeah, start wrapping your head around mortality, which is, you know, kind of a number. Yeah. It was a pretty intense year. So. Um, my, I changed school, we moved house, like every, it was one of those, you know, and I did become that child who, you know, would get very angry if somebody called me a name and, you know, immediately hit them with a chair or, you know, bring the cat to school type thing. Like, I definitely had- Or bring uh, the cat to yes, school. Yes, oh yes, now I'm allowed to bring the cat, you know, and then the cat would escape at school. My mother, like it was that, I had a, you know, a couple of years of that sort of thing. But it was a very nice, I had a very, understanding and extremely kind of creative and amazing school so I was not kicked out or you know, made it feel bad. They just sort of held me through that period, which was nice.